Good morning and welcome to Wednesday's update from church. Just a couple of things to fill you in on today. If you missed our first All Age August service that streamed on Sunday, then do go back and catch up with that on YouTube. It really is worth a watch. And thank you to everybody who was involved in that. The second in the series on Elijah uh, will be this Sunday at 10 a.m. So do tune in for that one. We're also continuing to meet every Tuesday during August for prayer at 2 p.m. Uh, that's on Zoom. So if you'd like to be part of that, you'd like to have information on how to join, then that's all in the prayer update. And again, if there is anything that you would like our church family to be praying for for you, then do get in touch with any of the staff team. So I'm not sure whether you have plans for tomorrow, but for many people across the country, it is a big day tomorrow because tomorrow is A-level results day. And results day on a year that has been so different for our young people. All that work, all that preparation, then no exams. And we know that that's caused quite a lot of anxiety and stress for students across the country. It is a nerve wracking day on a normal year. So let's remember our A-level students tomorrow and let's pray for them as they get their results. So maybe it's A-levels tomorrow for you, or maybe you're waiting for other news. Maybe it's health related, or maybe it's family news. And the Bible has lots of good things to say about this. And I just wanted to share a couple of verses with you today, maybe ones that you're familiar with, and hopefully ones that will encourage you. The first one, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says this, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans to prosper you, and not to harm you. They are plans to give you a future and a hope. A great verse. And also from Proverbs chapter three, verses five and six, this is what this one says. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. So whatever you've got coming up in the next few days or weeks, Let's be confident in our God and in the plan that he has for us. Have a great day.